good afternoon to all. Uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to give some feedback. Uh, being a teacher, uh, no point should be missed, so I've come up with the notes uh, for the feedback itself. Uh, learn anything, anywhere. Only requirement is interest and enthusiasm. This is the motivating line you will find on the website of nptl.ac.in. This really motivates the learners in India. Four, five years back, one person from IIT Bombay came to our institute and intention was to make awareness about NPTEL among the students. One line he said was, we have developed such a quality contents and utilization of these quality contents are done by most of the European university students. So what is happening in India? Why they are not using? So awareness is not there. And then definitely appreciable efforts are taken through forming local chapters. And then on one fine day, I got this news that there is one local chapter awareness workshop. And there we started with the awareness. I started, I attended that workshop. And then I come to know about these things one year back. And PTL started around two th in the year 2004, 2005. We used to get the videos. I used to download those videos and make those videos available to the students. Being university affiliated college, working in rural area, we were facing the problems, Miss main major intention of the students when they take admission to uh, institute is up for employability. I would like to share few points, how really the NPTEL helped for our students. First thing was about employability, though it is from NASCOM, it is said that algorithm data Algorithm, data structure, and programming, these are the three important uh, aspects to make the students employable. In our area, we are finding the students are intelligent, they are comfortable with this programming, data structure, as well as uh, what we can say, algorithm. But somewhere where they were lagging was soft skills. Fortunately, on NPTEL, I find the courses like enhancing soft skill and uh, technical English or personality development, such type of courses were there and we uh, motivated students to take these type of courses and as a result of it, reflection of it we got. This year whatever placement we have got has got doubled from last as compared to last year. So around 100 students got placed in Infosit itself and then this was only possible because of this NPTEL courses. One more thing is those students who are appearing for the gate examination for them also, many of the core courses are run by NPTEL. So those courses are very much useful to for the gate examination. As well, technical courses which are required most of the IT industries like programming C, C++, those courses were taken by the students and they also helped. So once uh, few students are going for the uh, uh, foreign universities for post-graduation studies, so two, three students while writing uh, their recommendation later, so they included means the course in which they want to take the admission. So related to that, courses are already run by the NPTEL and they included that they have done these courses through NPTEL. So that has also helped them to get admission in good universities in foreign, uh, foreign countries. As well, alumni. Not only I am motivating the students of my college, as well as I am motivating alumni also to go through this. Uh, what we can say NPTEL courses. One of our alumni is working in Samir lab in IIT Bombay. She was here itself for this workshop. She started doing, means I just told that courses are going on. So she started doing course on antenna and she completed it successfully. That also was helping her a lot. As a faculty, miss, not for student, as a faculty, most of uh, you, uh, we people are faculty members and then for as a faculty also, miss, uh, in Marathi we say Adat Nasil the Porat Kudne Teachers should know the things and teachers should have the quality education. So uh, this NPTEL provides a very good platform where we can get the quality contents uh, affordable as well as uh, evaluation is also available. So you get evaluated about what you have learned. Uh, talking about my Spock journey, so ma'am just asked how many new Spocks are there. So my Spock journey was I started with the NPTEL awareness workshop. Before that, before uh, just I register and then I gone through the website and all the contents, self-explanatory contents are there. You have to uh, send one application and you'll get a local chapter established. So local chapter was established. 
then enrollment started see one thing is when you are spook you are representing nptl to the students so you should be involved in all the activities that's why when enrollment started i started first enrollment of our institute was my my enrollment i enroll for the student i go through the form what information is required and while doing the enrollment i come to know that for last experience was around 200 2000 students enroll but it was very difficult for me to manage the information about the student because in uh, university affiliated college the colleges are run by in different departments so uh, mechanical department student asks uh, miss uh, head of the department asks how many students my students are registered how i will come to know that and then they have added such features like roll numbers so intelligently if you use roll number of the student we requested uh, nptl to make that feel compulsory and then intelligently if you are using roll number so from roll number you can identify that student belongs to which branch which year what is roll number and all those things and then mentor mentor is one feature so i become mentor also for one course so i will come to know what uh, what you can say features are available for the mentor then for the registration after uh, doing mentoring registration so i register for the examination first registration was my ex registration itself and then appear for the examination and for appearing for the examination we were having the problem like from sholapur there was no nearby city exam city available so we requested nptl to make a city available exam city available as sholapur and then yes that city was available made available and then our students appear for the examination huge tension was as a spook i also appear for the examination result got declared and in the medical image processing i got 91 marks gold medal i was topper in first five percent so then i take i take this opportunity to thank our principal as well as management who have given us this platform these things are there but they are always supporting us to do this type of activities uh, at last means this is the more this is the modern era of netizens so we all are using netizens most of we are online uh, more than uh, 20 hours and in this era uh, NPTL, I would like to say, is a virtual Dronacharya, virtual Dronacharya for the learner eklavyas of this modern, modern era of netizens, where uh, anywhere, anytime, NPTL is available. So you can be eklavya and NPTL will be Dronacharya for us. And at last, at last, I take this opportunity to thank Bhati ma'am, Kamala ma'am, who are supporting us. It's like if you send a query, any doubt, maximum, at the max, it will take 12 hours to get reply. Most of the times, within one or two hours, we get the reply for whatever doubt, and always it is constructive with a positive approach. So at last, can we have a big round of applause for NPTEL team, IIT Madras, for the efforts and contribution in the enhancement in the quality education of the India. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for the feedback. And I'd like to include all the NPTEL offices because though we coordinate without the support of the teams and all the other offices, this would not be possible because we are getting a lot of courses, encouragement, and coordination from all of them that this is happening. First of all, I will do my own work. I am Dr. Sarika Daima, Dayanand Commerce College, Latur. यानी यहाँ पर जो भी SPOCs या mentor आए हैं ज़्यादातर IITs से हैं engineering या science से हैं मैं थोड़ी हटके हूँ इसलिए आपको feedback देने आई हूँ मैडम NPTEL की वेबसाइट पे जो management के courses हैं मैं हमारा ये suggestion होगा कि उसमें कुछ courses add हो और commerce के वहाँ पे subject ही नहीं है तो commerce के कुछ subject वहाँ पे आने चाहिए ताकि हमारे बच्चों के लिए भी वो अच्छा होगा और faculty के लिए भी अच्छा होगा कुछ कोर्सेस हैं जो पहले थे लेकिन अभी नहीं है रीरन करने की जरूरत है कॉमर्स में ऑपरेशन रिसर्च नाम का एक सब्जेक्ट है जिसे अगर रीरन किया गया तो हमारे बच्चों को और अच्छे से नॉलेज गेन करने में सहायता होगी ई गवर्नेंस है ई कॉमर्स है रिस्क मैनेजमेंट बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस के क्योंकि आजकल ज़्यादातर हमारे कॉमर्स के बच्चे बैंकिंग या इंश्योरेंस या फाइनेंस की तरफ जाते हैं तो उनके लिए अगर वैसे कुछ कोर्सेस अवेलेबल हो जाए तो वो ज़्यादा अच्छी तरह से अपनी तरक्की कर पाएंगे इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस हमारे यहाँ पे एक कोर्स जो चलता है पूरी यूनिवर्सिटी में सिर्फ हमारे ही कॉलेज में है फॉरेन ट्रेड नाम का कोर्स 
तो हम लोग वो बच्चों को हमारे ही कॉलेज में सिर्फ उनका एक वोकेशनल कोर्स चलता है तो ऐसे बच्चों के लिए अगर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस का कोई ऑनलाइन कोर्स हो तो उनको करियर्स के लिए या जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छा होगा दूसरी बात है कि कुछ एग्ज़ाम सेंटर के बारे में हमें अभी अभी लोकल चैप्टर मिला है सत्ताईस नवम्बर को और एस पी ओ सी और मेंटर के साथ और मेरा दो इंस्टीट्यूट के साथ कॉन्टैक्ट आता है एक जगह पर मैं मेंटर हूँ दूसरी जगह पर एस पी ओ सी हूँ तो दोनों भी कॉमर्स कॉलेज है जहाँ के दोनों बच्चों को अच्छा फ़ायदा उसका होगा और हम लोगों को भी होगा विशेष ये बताना है कि हमने जब से मतलब एन पी टी एल के बारे में बच्चों को बताया है तो बच्चों का रिस्पॉन्स बहुत अच्छा है और अभी एक ही महीने में नियर अबाउट तीन सौ बहत्तर बच्चों ने एनरोलमेंट अलग अलग कोर्स के लिए किया है एग्ज़ाम के लिए अब वो रजिस्ट्रेशन करेंगे लेकिन जब उन्होंने देखा उन्हें लिंक आई कि लातूर नहीं है तो वो डर गए मैडम हम लातूर नहीं है तो हम लोग एग्ज़ाम को बाहर कैसे जाएंगे और आपका जो फीस क्राइटेरिया है एस सी एस के लिए जिसमें पाँच सौ पचास रुपये उनको फीस है और ग्यारह सौ रुपये बाकी जनरल कैटेगरीज को है तो सोलापुर जाना है तो शायद आने जाने के किराए का पैसा भी ज़्यादा लगेगा सो हमें हमारी ये रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर लातूर में कोर्स मिलता है और एग्ज़ाम सेंटर भी मिलता है तो हमारे बच्चे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वो एग्ज़ाम दे पाएंगे आ, और लास्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट बात है कि एग्ज़ाम सेंटर के लिए हम लोग टी का हमारे यहाँ पे रिकोगनाइज एग्ज़ाम सेंटर है आई के कंटिन्यूस एग्ज़ाम 12 महीने चलते हैं तो शायद टी को भी हमें एग्ज़ाम सेंटर देने में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगा लातूर में पाँच छः लोकल चैप्टर्स हो चुके हैं सो थैंक यू सो आई डोंट नो वेदर यू हैड सेंड दैट रिक्वेस्ट समथिंग वी ऑलरेडी डिड यू सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द एग्जाम डिड वी रिप्लाई टू यू ओके आई थिंक वी ऑलरेडी रिप्लाई सो टी सी एस इज वर्किंग ऑन इट वी हैवन गॉट इन द कन्फर्मेशन अगर आ जाएगा तो हम लोग फॉर्म में डाल देंगे तो ओपन हो जाएगा वो लतूर में शायद हम लोग पहली बार वो संडे के लिए ही देंगे सैटरडे संडे के लिए नहीं रखेंगे संडे के लिए वो हम लोग देंगे कौन सा कॉलेज में आएगा पता नहीं वो टी सी एस पे डिपेंडेंट है हम लोग हाँ वो लतूर में आ जाएगा वन मोर थिंग आई जस्ट लाइक टू से हेयर इज बेस्ड ऑन द फी वेवर्स सो मैनी एम वेर आस्किंग फी वेवर्स का सो वी गॉड अ बजट फ्रॉम आई रिसेंट फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर बट द नंबर्स हैव इंक्रीज ट्रेमेंडसली बिकॉज द लोकल चैप्टर्स हैव इंक्रीज सो वी हैव काइंड ऑफ एग्जॉस्टेड आई अर्ली बजट इवन इन लास्ट सेमेस्टर बिकॉज वी गुड एन बजट इट फॉर टू एंड पुट इट और वी हैव टू चेंज क्राइटेरिया लाइक आई वॉज टेलिंग यू वी हैव टू मेक इट सिक्सटी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट और समथिंग तो अप्रैल मे के लिए अप्रैल uh, एग्जाम्स के लिए शायद As of today, now if you ask me, we do not have money for fee waivers. We have a very small sum, so we don't know how to disburse it. लेकिन हम लोग दो तीन कंपनी से बात कर रहे हैं आज भी एक मीटिंग है उनके साथ सो बिफोर द एंड ऑफ दिस मंथ वी विल बी एबल टू टेल यू वेदर इट्स अस नो हाउ मच वी हैव एंड इफ यू कैन पुट इट इन सम मैनर सो दैट्स अबाउट द फी वेवर्स गुड नून एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर रोहिदास नितोंडे एस पी ओ सी ऑफ एम एस पी मंडल श्री शिवाजी कॉलेज परभणी रियली इट गिवज मी इमेंस प्लेजर टू से दैट one of the historic moments in our college uh, history is that uh, last year our college got uh, reaccredited for third cycle nac assessment and in the third cycle we could achieve 3.52 cgpa with a plus grade which is till date highest in marathwada region the thing that why should i mention special thanks to nptel is that uh, usually in any nac peer team visit schedule Uh, most of the time is given to many other activities nowhere nptel local chapter schedule is mentioned but during the visit to our college it was 30 minutes duration the honorable nac peer team gave to our college local chapter during those 30 minutes they examined so many things and how we conduct the courses they even talked to some of our successful students and they noticed how rural and inter uh, uh, interior parts of country they are taking benefit of mhrd e learning initiatives and they appreciated the local chapter and also they uh, forwarded the same thing to the nac office another important thing is that the honorable vice chancellor sir of our university he also took notice of the local chapter of sri shivaji college parvani and he visited the local chapter along with that he specially sent two professors from the university department to visit sri shivaji college local chapter and after the visit officially uh, we were asked to send a request to the university academic council about the credit transfer system uh, which is to be implemented from this year honorable vice chancellor sir put that in the academic council meeting and from this year itself academic council has accepted credit transfer system for our 
arts, commerce, and science students. I am happy to say that this year, more than 150 students, they have enrolled for business English communication course from a rural college. Our students, this is the, th this is the third run wherein our students got through the certifications. I know that it is not an easy thing for rural people to get employment, but we are trying hard and many people like NPTEL, they are sharing their hands, they are giving their resources for us. We are thankful to the NPTEL, entire NPTEL team for providing us such valuable resources. Thank you one and all. Have a great day. Next, I would like to call upon Rishikesh Avtadi from College of Agriculture, Biotechnology, Loni, Ahmednagar. He will be presenting um, uh, some, uh, he has presented some, uh, uh, made some uh, presentation, so he would like to talk upon it. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank that given me opportunity to, to interact with you. So I am representing S SPOC for College of Agriculture, Biotechnology, Loni. There are some technical problems uh, which I want to uh, highlight here so that can be solved. The first is that video link should be present on the video page. That is also one of the technical problem that many colleges block the video downloading sites that is the YouTube or KeepVid. That link should be um, below the video uh, window. Then student directly click on that and directly the video downloading will start. That should be a very user friendly. That is only one suggestion. Uh, next is that this is a SPOC admin page. Uh, when I uh, click on all uh, local chapter students, then you can see the red uh, mark is there. Uh, you can see the uh, course uh, title there, Bioenergy. But when I download this uh, into CVS file, I cannot see the course name. I only see the, yes, only course. And that creates problem to sharing with the students because students don't know the code names. They know the only the uh, course name. That should be the corrected. Then next, SP should be able to see the assignment marks of all the students of the respective local chapter. Because many times the mentor, uh, if he fails to take a feedback, then we will miss a link. Or maybe if mentor is resigned or transferred from that job, then also the, it can be very difficult for SOP to uh, find out the uh, or result is out that student also can see. And a progress tab is there. Yes, yes, yes. Many rural uh, colleges uh, students are uh, not knowing about much about uh, checking the ma marks on the web page. Many uh, it's a problem in rural area. Okay. So SPOC should get an ID card or a badge from the respective IITs. It will motivate us because proudly we can uh, roam uh, all over the campus and badge is there. We are SPOC, <laughs> so that is also motivate us. <laughs> And one of the uh, major problem I want to explain, I am representing the agriculture college. State agriculture universities are far behind in e-learning. So need of awareness in agriculture uh, universities. So there are uh, 65 government agriculture colleges, uh, government agriculture co colleges. There are 153 private colleges and there are four agriculture universities. But uh, I have checked the PDF file of all the active uh, SPOCs, but I couldn't found uh, two or three only uh, expect our college, except our college, but I couldn't found any agriculture university involved in this SPOC. But we want to work in this uh, agriculture. Yeah, yes. Four courses, <laughs> yes. No, uh, but uh, skills, general courses also there, like yeah, business yeah, courses, yeah. yes, yes. But we have to make awareness in agriculture university. So. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Thank you for uh, giving us so much detailed uh, feedback. I mean, it's very useful for us uh, to have this detailed feedback. I'm Professor Prakash Khanale. I'm also from uh, Parbhani, from where Dr. Nitrunde is. I'm representing uh, Nyanopasa College of Arts, Commerce and Science. Uh, last year only we have been enrolled, uh, we, have, we have started enrolling for different courses. Uh, so I'm going to give you feedback what uh, the uh, troubles that we are facing at present. Uh, particularly we find that uh, the science students who enroll for uh, electrical engineering courses or computer science courses, so they find it difficult to cope up with the courses. So it may be because of uh, the mathematical treatment that is given in the courses. So major uh, student, major lot of the students who learn science courses, they basically lack the skills in mathematics. So maybe we can think of uh, adding something essential mathematics, isn't it, for all such courses. Uh, what we find that the courses in uh, communication, the courses from 
language like English or courses for biology, they are comparatively easy. When students are able to cope up with them, they are able to complete them. Uh, there are two worries that normally we face. Uh, one worry is that if all students are going to get IID certificates, if they pass the course, they are going to get the IID certificates. And are they going to get the job? So this is an issue, isn't it? Because ultimately when we ask our students, isn't it, to enroll for a course, uh, what we say is that you enroll for a course because your chances of getting employment will increase. Because you are going to get an IID certificate, isn't it, with almost no cost. And if these courses become popular, isn't it, then what is going to happen with the existing college system? We'll never replace it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never happen. <laughs> uh, one small solution is that, that Swayam has prepared their own app, isn't it? App is being available on the mobile phones. So why not NPTEL app? Yes, there is. Isn't it? No, no, there is no official app. There is. No, it's okay. Developing it, it should be out in another three, four months. Like okay. And the last thing is, again, the examination thing, isn't it? Because our nearest center is Aurangabad. So uh, student has to travel from Parbani to Aurangabad and then again has to come back. So there is some uh, means financial, they have to spend at least, uh, say, 500 rupees in a day, isn't it? Apart from the regular examination fees. So uh, I think we should come out uh, for some solution, isn't it? Have you a request for exam fees? Uh, actually, we don't have that much enrollment. Because enrollment is much more, but students who are willing. Yeah, four local chapters in Parvati district. Mm -hmm. If put together, four together, then we can come up to the yeah, so we have individual no, no. That is fine. We that's fine. Individual. See, that's why we published the list of all the SCs on our page, and you have the contact person also. If you all can just contact the nearby colleges and say, together we will do this, please open a session. The problem is yeah, that. Can you come to do 200? <coughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. That's what we have said, right? The problem is that uh, last time I enrolled about 200 students and only 11 students appear for examination. And all 11 got certificate, but only 11 were able to go to the examination center. So 11 is a very small figure. No, sir, uh, even if we count for other colleges. Plus, hmm. But in one term we can come around 150 at, I'm sure 150 it will be. No problem, you can just work together, you can just access and after the exam. But I think why not to have an examination online? Means Ultimately, we have to go something like that. See, examination is still a very sensitive matter because if you are going to transfer the grade to the university, the university should have a trust in their examination. The examination was conducted with a full sort of no copying or you know other mal practices which were there. So, if you do online just like that, we are not sure whether it will be guaranteed. You know. At this point of time. Maybe someday there will be some uh, picture will be taken you and then keep monitoring your picture all the time till you are writing the exam. That might happen. But as on today, I think the proctored examination is the one I think which uh, I think is more acceptable to the university system. And that's what it is. Yes. Thank you for giving me that. So maybe we'll have a, a few comments on the exam uh, pro, uh, center uh, allocation. Yes. Because I, th I think several of you have questions on uh, or comments on exam allocation even during the break that was a major uh, issue that uh, many felt strongly about. So I will just share with you what our uh, process is and why we end up doing what we do. So the first thing is uh, we are using an exam partner. You are aware of this we are using right now the exam partner is TCS. I mean it does not have to remain TCS but they are the ones who are coming L1 in whatever quotation process uh, we start. So they are the exam partner. And they are quite good in the sense that they are running major exams, they are running gate, so many other exams they are running, so they are quite established. So they have arrangement with lot of colleges as centers. Uh, and uh, so what they are doing is they just, they, uh, this exam fee that we charge is primarily because they have a fee associated with uh, arranging the center, arranging the infrastructure at the center, having invigilators day, there on the exam day. They take their, you know, their own staff is there setting up the uh, server which communicates to their uh, main office, uh, you know, collects all the answers, uh, collects the questions and delivers to the exam uh, hall. All this is being done by them. So for this they have a charge. 
then so essentially that's the charge that goes to the uh, uh, the main part of the charge in the uh, exam fee now uh, to keep that cost low i mean already we are saying 1100 is high and all that but to keep it even at that level they want at least 50 people at a center minimum 50 only then they charge us for 50 at a, whether we even if you have only two people in the center they will charge us for 50 people so uh, naturally you know if you have many centers where you are only having two three people uh, taking the exam that cost has to get distributed across all students so we want to uh, avoid that they also want to avoid that so what they are doing is they collect the data of how many are appearing in each uh, uh, city and then they open the center so we are they are not upfront telling which center is going to get opened so that is why as uh, Bharti was pointing out and as actually several of you also pointed out if you can come together and tell us that in, in, a, in your city there are going to be look, 100 students who are going to take an exam if you are if you're confident of it if you, if you can back yourself to tell us that you have to back yourself because as, as was just pointed out you know you may have 200 students enrolled but only 11 will take then it is a problem if you can back yourself collectively that you would say at least 100 students will take it definitely we will work with TCS to get you a center uh, close to you uh, that is definitely something that we will try. There is another logistical thing that they are trying to do again to take care of the quality of the exam. See right now they work with many colleges. So the infrastructure in each college is slightly different. So if they have a software that is supposed to run sometimes in one college it will not run properly. So on exam day you know half an hour into the exam suddenly things will start going wrong in that one center. It becomes a big problem during the examination. So uh, what they are doing is they open their own centers called ITZs which they have opened in some specific places. Then it becomes a business thing because they have now opened it, they, they do not want it to sit, in, uh, sit idle. So when they have uh, you know some number of, uh, within some radius of that center, whatever college is there, they will try to first fill the ITZ, then they start filling the other centers. So these are some logistical issues that go on in the background of the examination, which is why not always you are getting a center in the most convenient uh, possible manner. And the only other factor they keep in mind is as much as possible they are trying to allot students into different colleges. They do not want to take the same set of students and put them in their own college for the examination because th that starts making it little difficult to ensure that everything goes off properly. So this is the other aspect of the exam process. But as I said, we are uh, trying our best to get you more centers closer to where you are. So please keep asking, do not uh, stop asking, please keep asking. But in from your side, the one homework we ask is try to get us about 50 to 100 students. Ideally 100, if you aim for 100, then I think uh, logistics will work out uh, quite conveniently. So I think that is any any other uh, yeah, Yes sir, I have one question. Yes. Uh, in this entire gathering, uh, probably yes. I met by one individual who belonged to an institution called as Government Polytechnic. So we offer diploma programs. Uh, so a, a student who is uh, uh, getting, uh, who is, uh, that is enrolling for a course in diploma, for a particular, for example, hydraulics, Will it be of the same difficulty level and same scope as he will be registering or enrolling a hydraulic course in degree college? That is one, uh, one particular question I wish to uh, place before you. And uh, s almost all in uh, engineering courses include practical work also. In uh, this entire discussion, we miss that particular aspect. So is he required to do some practical work under uh, the supervision of the institution and whether it is how it is going to be assessed. So these are two questions I wish to uh, uh, for the these two questions I wish to know the answer from you people. This by the way is Professor Andrew Tangaraj. He is the other coordinator from uh, IIT Madras. Thank you. So he was at a conference just below, I think one floor below. So we managed to pull him up from <laughs> down below. Okay, first of all, it's really uh, nice to see so many different people in this region. Actually, uh, Maharashtra, as many of you might have been, might have heard in this uh, brief meeting, has about 262 local chapters, 67 local chapters, which is second to, I think, Tamil Nadu. Oh, really? They've overtaken. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. I think the education culture is uh, very strong here. As one can see across the state, so many different type of people. And I think uh, and when I see feedback from all of you, uh, we're getting questions that are uh, that are also troubling us. I'll, I will be very clear on that. I know first thing is there was concern about will it replace anything in the college. I think absolutely not. There is just no chance of that happening. First of all, I think you know the students who are coming into your college, and you have to get them out with a degree and make sure they are okay in life. And courses online are not going to do that. You know, you're, you're so much more they learn from you on a day to day basis. So this is, uh, th this you have to look at this program a bit differently. So how do you look at it? 
uh, one way in which IITs and uh, us as faculty at IITs look at it is, uh, it's, it's what we would call as outreach from the IITs. So now IITs, uh, if you look at the budget, etc., we, we get a lot of money from the central government. For various reasons, I'm not saying it's wrong. I think we should get money and IITs use the money very wisely. But I think in a country like India, when we invest in an effort which reaches out to so many people in a very efficient, nice way, keeping the quality in place, I think the impact is uh, tremendous and all of you are uh, testimony to that impact that, you know, uh, with, with a small investment that we make in reaching out to everybody across the country. Now, of course, I think there was also a comment about 200 people enrolling but only 11 people uh, writing the exam. And that's probably also the result of uh, the standard of the course, the, the rigor in the course. It's, uh, so I would say 11 is definitely not a small number. Don't, don't think of 11 as a small number. Why do you say 11 is a small number? So going from zero to even one, it's a huge step. From one, you can go to 200 very easily. Okay, so going from zero to one is very, very hard. So I think I mean, this program wasn't even there before. So nobody had this opportunity. This access was not there. So with this access from a remote area, somebody has the confidence to say, yes, I can do a course which is maybe at the level of an IIT that somebody is offering. I'm able to get through that. That builds tremendous, uh, that's a big step, it's a big leap in my opinion. But after that, growing will happen and it will happen in various ways. We are building uh, mechanisms by which these courses will count as credit in your universities. So that is added motiv motiv motivation. A huge added motivation will be if it enables more jobs, access to more jobs, right? So that I think is the next big step. There are challenges there. We are working on it. We are trying to have some industries on board. We are trying to make sure uh, that part of it is covered a little bit, but you know it'll take time. It's it's not uh, it's not an easy thing. First of all, this certificate that people are having in their hands has a certain reputation with it, right? So IITs are organizing it. It's it has a reputation with it. Does it also mean something good from an employment point of view? Are these are these people when they go into jobs are they doing well? All of that has to be established over time. It, it takes a little bit longer than uh, the two and a half years that we've been in existence. So let's wait for that. Let's wait uh, to do that. And y you can see in your own college the kind of students who are who are being pulled into doing more rigorous uh, hard work because of this process is slowly increasing. Right? So students who would otherwise be a little bit directionless uh, as to not knowing what to do, etc., are being pulled into an academic program and they're able to rigorously work very hard. You're able to motivate them. I think those are the big positive steps. And even for faculty, being able to access this material, doing, knowing how um, a technical area, uh, mostly on the technical side, how do you organize the ideas, how do you present them in a nice way, all of that is interesting. So I think the benefits of this outreach from IIT uh, is, is so nice in so many different ways. Uh, let's not also narrow it down to just, you know, just getting a job, just do, doing something in some sense. Okay, so let's, let's think of the big picture and hopefully this, the long-term effects of this uh, program will be there for everybody to see. Okay, and maybe in the next two years, three years even, we'll start seeing some of the initial uh, parts of this. That's the hope. All of, a lot of it rests in your hands. Okay, you, you see us standing here. We can do only a very little bit of it, right? So we, we organize the courses. Uh, we keep up this network of people. But, uh, you know, all of you work so hard with uh, little or no financial incentive. Actually, there's no financial incentive that we give you. And all of you believe in this process. And that, that is what is uh, really making this happen. Nothing. I think that we do is ever going to bear fruit without the efforts that uh, you are going to put in. So I would like you to be motivated, continue this effort. Hopefully you see that students and everybody in the college is benefiting from that. And, and keep give us feedback. I think that is what is most important. Keep telling us what we are doing wrong, what we can do better. And we are here to work with you. We may enable this to continue. Okay, thanks a lot for coming. No, just let me answer the question which was asked earlier. I think that question is not answered. Yeah, you answered it. See, actually, the courses which are taught here, they are taught with the understanding that these courses will be used by engineering students. What that means is, you know, that it has adequate mathematical support and all that, whereas when you go to polytechnic, you have more uh, experimental, hands-on kind of activities, less mathematics. So our focus is not really to that, that, that uh, level of students. We are still keeping engineering as a focus. Coming to your second question, whether the practicals are required or not, of course, Practicals are always required in engineering, and AICT has been saying. But AICT also has been saying that you should set up the laboratories, not in individual colleges, but maybe in a zone where students should be able to go and conduct the experiment. So if you form a cluster of colleges and say, well, here's the laboratory, anybody can come and conduct the experiment, these courses will give support 
you can also use the material from the virtual labs, which is also available free of cost, you know, again, uh, should be available on Swam. There are many experiments which are very nicely done, especially in electrical engineering, computer science, and so on. So those experimental, though not really hands-on in the hardware sense, but they also give you a good feel for the experiment which are done in that area. So my suggestion would be the polytechnic student should use virtual lab for your experimentation. And also if possible, in a city, if you can form a cluster of lab that people can come and work, which can supplement this, you know. So NPTEL will not be able to do it, but if you want any help to set up that, maybe we'll be able to do this. Something like that. Good afternoon. Myself, Jayesh Dange from Navi Mumbai, Lokmanya Tilak College of Engineering. First of all, I appreciate the NPTEL team to execute such a task where the parameters are very much variable, the quantity, the exam centers and all. Really, uh, it is to be appreciated. As far as uh, the feedback is concerned, what we have done this semester, in order to optimize the students' uh, working hours for this NPTEL course, what we have done, we have found the current semester subjects which are there, which they are going to appear for the current semester. And we put a notice as a guideline that these students, SE student, T student, B student, should do preferably this kind of courses. We have not restricted them. We have not said Ki, you do this course only. But we have given a guideline in order that their regular uh, semester time and this additional hours of uh, watching the videos, doing the assignments will be compressed and will be optimized. So that kind of exercise we are doing. One question to Prala, uh, sir. Uh, one statement was there, not all core courses are available as MOOCs. I don't understand that what it is. And one more thing, uh, these course specific discussions, how student can join that forum? Course specific. Please, sir. Thank you. Okay, so the first uh, point that uh, I think you asked about was uh, that all core courses are not available. <clears throat> what I meant is that at the moment, we have not managed to put uh, all the core courses of all the engineering disciplines in the MOOC format every semester. We have not yet reached that stage. We are trying to do so, we have not yet reached. It's just a matter of availability of uh, faculty uh, in, that in each semester and that availability of that course. So we're working towards that. Now regarding the discussion, course specific discussion forum, Actually, every enrolled student has access to that in that respective course page. So there is a discussion forum. It's a, you know, on, once they log in, they will see one on the top, there will be one tab says forum. You would just go and join that, click on that and just get into the forum. There is a place where they can post a question and get an answer. So this course specific discussion forum already exists. And every student who is enrolled already has access to it. They may not have noticed it, that's all. They just have to click there and get into it, that's it. So I think what we'll do is we'll just take a couple more comments. We will then halt. We'll go ahead for a lunch break. And then we'll, we'll, uh, most of us will continue to be there. So you can ask us questions there also. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Radhika from uh, Belgium. And uh, we are very uh, new local chapter, which enrolled in uh, December 2017. Uh, madam, basically, we are an MBA college. And uh, when I was going through the courses, I agree with the madam that uh, most of many, of, I think 90% of the courses are focused with engineering and technical background. And all my gra management graduates ask me, madam, we are highly interested, but please kindly suggest which are the courses suitable for us. We d I don't deny that we do not have any courses, but we want more varieties and range. Example, I tell you, there's one course called as supply chain analytics. MBA student learns this course as supply chain management. But when it comes to analytics, it is more of operations research, which is a pure technical course, which engineering students learn it. Maybe we as management students are not so well versed. So if we can have one stage level course like supply chain management at the level one, then take it to analytics at the level two, it would really benefit the management students. And we want more courses in finance domain, human resources, and marketing. Thank you. And thank you for the suggestions. Aapki suggestions be both uh, useful. Te. So one, one thing we request from you is, in fact, it's very valuable for us to know what courses your students are seeking. Uh, because as you, as you all see, and we, we also recognize, we come from an engineering background. So we tend to, we are ready, more ready to provide you courses from the engineering background. 
but we do have uh, management streams in uh, some of the IITs and we are uh, fu fully capable of providing you some of those courses, your students some of those courses uh, uh, if, th if it is necessary. Uh, it is very helpful to us if we have a list like this from your side. Uh, of course, Bharti has uh, noted down several of the uh, suggestions that you had, but you can still send us an email with those specific courses that you think are uh, valuable for your students. Then it's easier for us to convey that to our faculty. They also understand that, you know, okay, they may have had some idea in their mind, but now they see that from the things they were thinking of, there is something immediately somebody is interested in. Then they will focus more on it. So we will definitely convey this to them, and this is a useful input for us. Science colleges, then we just want to say we started working with ICERs to get in all the science courses. So ICER uh, Mohali and ICER uh, Pune also, they both are offering, but we are targeting the other ICERs to see whether more of the faculty can come in to provide the science-related uh, courses. And the IIITs are in IIIT Bangalore. We are trying to get their computer science courses in. Hyderabad offered one or two. Delhi is in with, again, their thing. So we are trying to expand the number of institutes we are working with to Hello, everyone. I am Shatrugna Patil from Islampur. Uh, I am uh, SPSC of uh, Dr. Ashok Gozer Technical Institute, Karar. Uh, I want to mention here, I am not, uh, not faculty and not from engineering background. I am librarian and uh, uh, I have done my uh, graduation in library and information science and post graduation in library and information science, as well as I am qualified NET and SET exam from Maharashtra SET. And uh, I would like to thank uh, for uh, thank all the team uh, for giving me opportunity to uh, attend this. Thank you. And uh, here I would like to say in the top 100, it's not just faculty members who are proven to be the best of SPOCs. We have a lot of librarians who have, you know, motivated the students and they have actually encouraged them to do very well. So nothing, you know, you can totally work on it and be proud of it. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll take one more and then with that we'll halt. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, uh, Azharuddin Mumin. I am a SPOC of Maharashtra Academy of Naval Education and Training, Pune. Uh, I think I am the only one person here from the Merchant Navy College. So uh, I want to suggest two courses uh, which is required for the uh, Marine Engineering Department. That is, uh, one course is ship stability, and one more course is uh, ship construction. And these both the courses are already there and uh, provided by the IIT Kharagpur. Because my background itself, uh, I am a naval architecture from the IIT Madras. And uh, I have done these two courses. And uh, I have given this material to my students uh, to these courses. But these two courses is not available as uh, NOC. So if these two courses are provided, so I can suggest my students to do these courses. Till now, we have uh, around, uh, the, uh, this is the first session we are conducting as uh, uh, this uh, NOC. So around uh, 467 students have registered for the courses. So thank you very much for giving the opportunity. Good afternoon, one and all. Myself, Madhu Nekarikanti, SPOC, Vardhavan College of Engineering, Hyderabad. Madam, I want to share my personal experience while uh, last time I written a control engineering examination, of course. Okay, in that, uh, in that course, uh, actually in the final examination, the questions are, seven questions are in linked questions. If you observe the gate pattern, there may be two questions are interlinked. In the final exam, in the NPTEL examination, seven questions are interlinked, linked questions. That is, uh, I think it's not a correct way. Why? Because seven questions are linked means uh, students are uh, approaching me and they are telling that, sir, seven questions means it's uh, difficult to solve. One or two questions, three questions means it is okay. Seven means uh, it's somewhat difficult. And uh, in the mentor, we are, we are adding the mentors, right? Uh, in the mentors list, uh, we are unable to find the students. Uh, those who are selected their mentors. If they meant in the global issue you are, uh, you are showing, right? In that if the student is selected mentor, the mentor name should be visible there. In the global list, student global list you are showing, right? Uh, if it is, uh, I want uh, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, and one more thing is, uh, if the, all the students uh, 
performance is visible, then we can motivate the, the, those who are not performing well, we can motivate. Yeah, no, 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 no. For SPOC, those are, yeah, yeah, the same thing. Thank you, thank you. So I think maybe I'll just respond to one comment and then we'll break for lunch. So I think the comment was on that linked question. But actually we see that as a positive because that means the student is getting something like step marks. Because it's a longer problem okay. instead of just saying only for the final answer we will give you mark. We are giving mark for multiple steps. That is why it's a linked question. So that's the reason we think that's a better way to incorporate it into the examination. So <laughs> yeah, there will be more linked questions going forward rather than this. So I think, yeah, I think we'll halt now. We'll go for uh, lunch break. We'll all still be available. You are uh, welcome to ask us questions uh, there as well. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. all the participants for attending this workshop. On this event, I would like to thank Professor Shivgaonkar for giving us this opportunity. Uh, thanks to Professor Shidhariyar for joining us today. Thanks IIT Madras coordinators for coming here and giving a speech. Last uh, but not the least, I would thank our team, which is a backbone of this event.